We're dressing up the classic crepe with all of the trimmings, whether you go sweet or savory, there's something for everyone with the crepe. Carrie and Cheney from Oh Sweet Basil is here with a few of her favorite combinations. But before we jump into this, you have a story about how you started these crepes. Yeah, so I was kind of uh, being a little bit of an ornery wife, and my husband oh, was- I've never been that. What are you talking about? It's not my nature, but. <laughs> um, you know, my husband was making these every Saturday morning with our girls, and I needed variety. So I pulled him aside and I'm like, dude, be done with the crepes. Like, could we have pancakes or something different? And he was so kind and gentle, and he just said, you know what? Our girls are gonna grow up and be teenagers that don't wanna be with their dad, and I need this moment that I can just create a tradition with them, and our hearts can you know, bond and be together, and conversations can happen, so when they're teenagers, they'll keep talking to dad. And I, I thought, it. okay, crepes forever. Yeah, crepes yeah, yeah, forever. no more so. complaints. Not only is he making breakfast on a Saturday, but involving the girls, that's yeah. actually such a sweet story. So sweet. So that was the birth of these crepes. Yeah. And they are a little bit more intense than a pancake or something. Yes. I, at least for me. I so the batter's easier. I mean, it's just flour, a little bit of sugar, eggs, some butter, and some milk. But this part, the cookie, it's makes the cookie. people nervous. That's, that's where I get nervous as well. In fact, I even bought one of those crepe makers. Have you seen that, where you yes. dip it? And it's supposed yeah. to, oh, I don't know, I, I can't know. get it to work right. So I know. You're, gonna be, you're the pro. You're going to show us how to do this today. <laughs> Kate so you've is got the pro. The, I hope I can do it. <laughs> you've got the batter made. Yep. And, um, and you say let it sit for 15 minutes. So Why? when you let it sit, the gluten and everything kind of rests, and you have a better chance of your crepe turning out. We all know that the first crepe or pancake kind of ends up a flop anyway but letting it rest really kind of smooths that batter out and everything combines and sticks together so you'll have a full crepe, no tears or anything. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm ready to see this. Ready? I'm ready to see the no I hope I crepe. can do it as good as he does. All he right. does it every week. You'll be great. Let's so, see. we're just gonna pour some in the center and then it's all about the wrist. You just wanna- All about the wrist, people. Twist it around like that and we're gonna let it cook until it's set. Now, if we had like a little tear happen, you know? Yeah. Cade taught me, you just take a little extra batter, pour it into the hole. Same thing when you flip it over. If you have a tear, just add a little batter, and you're good to go. Okay, it's and what heat are we doing this at? Because I think, is that one of the tricks? Are so people we, doing it at the wrong heat so it's burning on one side <laughs> and raw on the other side? Probably, so we just wanna stick to medium heat. We don't wanna go too hot. It's a delicate little pancake. Oh, look at that golden so, brown. I did it! You Kate did it, be so lovely. Proud. Okay, so we're just letting that set. Um, while that happens, I'll kind of pull these back here. We've got some that are already done. Okay, I now we're changed. now we're making the good stuff. We're making the we're good stuff. We're moving ones. on from just the flower. This one's eggs. good, so I'll just flip it out. Okay. Ta da. Move that off so the So pretty and they smell so good. Those hot. Yeah, crepes. I love that smell. So I I have kind of changed as I've gotten older and I like just a sprinkle of sugar and some berries. But Cade, or there's a cream filling that's in our cookbook you can use as well. But Cade loves the Nutella. So since oh, he's not Nutella. here and we're thinking of him. We'll add Nutella, the girls do as well. I mean, I'm always trying to convince them to try something new, but they all stick you with know, chocolate. You know, when you have Nutella, I don't know that you have to try something new, right? I know. I love the Nutella with bananas. Have you done that? Yes. For some reason, that, that combination, but I love, the berries are super fun too. Yeah. And randomly enough, I think I get stuck on one thing, and I I'm always want to go back to it. I'm and so same. I haven't done it with berries, but it looks awesome. <laughs> Bananas so are our favorite that. in our house, but we're just gonna put and it in. it's colorful and it's pretty. Right, and we'll roll this one. You can always do it's them a little a different. You can fold them like this as well, and that's really And I've pretty. seen this, and so we talked a little bit about savory before, and you can do kind of like a ham and a cheese yes. in this as well yeah. for more of a dinner item. Exactly, like we have one that's a caprese style. It has tomatoes oh, and so basil, yummy. fontina cheese. Oh my goodness, it's okay. so good. Okay, <laughs> so speaking of that, you brought yes. on a cookbook because you have yes. a cookbook now. All right, let's talk about it. So Kate and I have created this cookbook called Our Sweet Basil Kitchen. It's kind of a mashup of who we are, like our, fam our family and how we cook together in the kitchen. Um, a lot of it is Kate's Southern influence and then my Pacific Northwest influence. And we've created mashup recipes and new twists on the ones your mom used to make. So it's it's really just about us and family and our How kids cook fun. with us. It's fun. So where can we get a copy of this? You can get it at Amazon, Deseret Book, local Walmart, Barnes and Noble. Perfect. Everywhere. Thank <laughs> you so much, Carrie Ann. This was lovely. Yeah, thanks for having me.